So I have now graded Christopher's assignment. So on his screen now for, again, on his stream, the assignment that I just graded, this was the, what is a hypothesis? Now it is changed to graded. So he can tell that I have graded his assignment. So if he clicks on that assignment now, it tells me here that I have sent him a private message and the private message could be something like this. So because I just typed those random letters, remember, um, my message to him was make sure you write a full paragraph with details and examples to support your answer. If he wants to send me a message back asking a question or if he has a comment that he wants to make, he can do that. At the top where it says your work, it now says that it is graded. It has been graded. Um, and then his grade is up at the top. Remember, it was at a five points. So he got a four out of a five on that one. So it's just showing you what the grade was. Um, you can also, if I go back to my main stream that we started at, at the top, there is that tab that says classwork. So if I click on the classwork tab, there's also something in the upper left-hand corner that says view your work. So if we click on view your work, now it brings me to this list of all of his assignments. And what we can do is there's a filter on the side so it can be, I wanna see what my returned with a grade assignments are. So I click on that and it's now going to filter so that anything that has already been graded is going to be listed on the top. So there's my, what is a hypothesis? It tells him that he has a comment from me that he can read. There was an attachment, that was the Google slide. It's due tomorrow, even though he already handed it in, and he got a four out of five. Underneath, all of his other assignments are there so that he can view them. Um, there's also a filter for missing assignments. So if we click on missing, it will bring up anything. Now, the achieves, they're not going to be listed under turned in unless you turn it in here but as long as you're doing it on achieve i'm able to see that so for example it was due may 5th so that was two days ago and it tells you that that assignment was missing so anything that's listed as missing that's something that you want to do on friday you want to go through and double check um, also there under the filter is assigned so this is now a list of all the assigned work and like you can see, some of it has listed as assigned, meaning they're still due, but this one's due today, meaning he still has time to do it today. This one's due tomorrow. Um, the Achieve one, because it was due on May 5th, it's listed as missing. So you can see that some of them are listed missing, some of them are listed um, already graded. So as I scroll down, um, some of them have the grade mark next to them. Okay, so those are the filters that you're going to use so that you can figure out which work you still have to make up. And that should really clear up any of the how to turn things in. Remember, you also have more than one class. So your classes are listed here. Please make sure that you're also going to Miss Schoonover's class because she is listing work there, so hers looks different. Your reading and writing assignments will be on her page. Any of her Google Meets that she is having will also be listed there, so please make sure that you're going to both pages every day. If you have any other questions, please ask and I will get back to you.